Hey there guys, this is War Machine 395 here with a final unveiling for my Jim Wagtail. So it's uh, based off the HGUC Jim uh, Type C. So uh, basically, uh, this is the final unveiling. So talk a little bit about what paints I used and we're going to take a whole bunch of pictures at the end. Uh, so basically, I tried to do the Cold District's color scheme. Uh, did a lot of rust and uh, so it drips from the joints and everything else. So I used like an oil wash to get the rust effects and grease here and there. Hopefully that comes through in the pictures later. Uh, for detailing I used uh, Vallejo paints. I, I'm sure I pronounced that incorrectly. Uh, somebody can throw out a correction there later if they don't mind. And uh, for all the basic colors, I just used Krylon spray paints. Uh, uh, primer gray for the joints. Uh, slightly darker gray paint. I will think of the name later. I think it might be smoke gray. And uh, almond, maybe? No. No, what was that? I will check later. It will be in the description below. I'll list them off. Anyway, uh... Krylon paints the base, so it's all spray cans, and then details with Vallejo, and an oil wash from, was it, I can't even remember the brand name for that one. Picked up at the local art store, though, so I don't think it's a major brand, really. Uh, and a bit of a Tamiya weathering kit here and there. Not a lot. And I uh, used a few bits of Vallejo paint for some dry brushing on the chest and feet, a little on both machine guns, rifles, and uh, bazooka, just to keep things interesting, and I think the other shield too, just uh, a lot, I, I tried to keep it really minimal, uh, that's it, uh, tried to seal up the joints, uh, joints and uh, limbs and everything, I couldn't quite figure out how to get the forearms done, so sadly those remain unsealed up, but it, those tend to hide behind weapons, so I, I figure it would be okay this time. And I'll try and figure out how to do it better next time. Uh, that's it, really, and I think I'd like to move on to some pictures and posing. And so, uh, thanks for watching, guys.